Gespielt wird die Distanz Best of 11 Legs. Man braucht also sechs Legs, um in die nächste Runde einzuziehen. Und der Caller dieser ersten Zweitrundenpartie ist der Kirkulator, Kirk Bevins. The Saxon Arena producing the kind of atmosphere we have come to expect and appreciate on the European Tour. Welcome back to ESA for day two of the International Darts Open. Eight European winners in a field of 32 for the 11th event of the Euro calendar including the number one seed Peter Wright, the 2015 title winner here Michael Smith and the defending champion Mensor Sulidic playing in his first tournament since he defied odds of 40 to 1 to win the Champions League last Sunday. Willie O'Connor the man charged with the task of bringing Mensor back down to earth. Cases to be made for plenty of others, you have to say as well. Rob Cross could go one step further than his run to the final in Mannheim. Daryl Gurn is knocking on the door too. And right now, you simply can't ignore the claims of qualifier Kyle Anderson. Maybe one of these two could go deep as well. Steve Lennon's average. Ladies and gentlemen, first leg, it's Steve to throw first. Game on. Of 99.36 against Simon Stevenson, the second highest of the day. Anything like that. Once again, and Gerwin Price could well have his work cut out. Usual format for the Super Saturday, 16 seeds, 16 qualifiers, three commentators. I'm Rob Malarkey, Paul Nicholson on the way right now, Dan Dawson. Yes, and Gerwin Price right now, kicking off with a 1-2-1. Not quite as good as the 140 Steve Lennon produced. I predict 180s in this. Steve Lennon hits a lot of them. Gerwin Price has tended to save his best stuff this year for big stages obviously the UK Open run to the final his first major final but a semi on a Euro Tour a couple of quarter finals on the Euro Tour as well and he's produced some decent displays on the World Series as well look at this a Saxon Arena it's transformed from yesterday it has indeed absolutely bouncing for what looks to be two super sessions of darts today. 98. German, sir. Thousands of them. Steve Lennon, as you say, second highest average of the day yesterday, just shy of 100. It's his first Euro Tour win yesterday, Steve Lennon. And his opponent didn't play too badly either. Simon Stevenson averaging over 90 as well. I think he had the fifth highest average of the day yesterday, did uh, Stevenson, in that 6-2 defeat. Lenham, one, four, six. Ninety. Going Well, treble 17. Okay, tops, tops. Has to be. Has to be. Ooh, well, going price. It was nigh on perfect, that first dart in tops. Couldn't follow it. Lennon may look at tops himself. Oh, well, he was going to, but he's missed a big number. And he still will, but he only gets one dart. Game one dart is all he needs. Steven. One nil to the Irishman. Go yeah, a little celebration there as he made his way back to the table. Price in the money once again, though, here. A little rueful look after that final dart. Exactly the same as his opening visit in the first leg. Yeah. The irony not lost on the number 15 seed, Gerwin Price, UK Open finalist earlier Game this year. A very productive 27 for him so far. Yeah, sitting pretty in the race to Hasselt. He will have designs on turning up at the European Championship as one of the seeded players. He's outside of that top eight at the moment. But 23 grand, 25 tentatively. The money won't be in his ranking if he doesn't win this game. But there's the first 180, and I predict more. Just a couple of them for Steve Lennon yesterday, despite that. 90 average, but from what we've seen in his first year on the senior tour, this lad can hit the maximum. Yeah, we only had two players hit more than three. He's hit more than Michael Horvath had a 164 checkout in all of that as well. And yeah. so did Justin Pipe, and he too lost. Yeah, it we was saw a strange some, day. We saw some huge checkouts yesterday, some ridiculous big finishes yesterday. Late on as well. I mean, Richie Whoa. Corbin with 147. And a couple of 120s. And a couple of 120s. Dennis Nielsen, five ton plus finishes in that match with Steve Beaton. Yeah. 
Nielsen pulling off three of them, including 106 to win. A 160, which was magical. Kyle Anderson again in the final match as well. I mean, his string of some plus averages, apart from that match against Klassen recently, very impressive indeed as Lennon backs it up and leads to zip. Yeah, good start this for Steve Lennon. They have met once before. It was only a few weeks ago in August, and that one finished 6 4 to the Whoa. Iceman Gerwin Price. But of the various seeded players we have in action today, not just his performance yesterday from Steve Lennon, but I, I just felt that this is a game where perhaps the seeded player might be vulnerable. First game on. Yeah, totally agree. Gerwin, uh, he had problems with his missed his connecting flight getting here. Evidently, his luggage has turned up. Because there's nobody else who's got a dark shirt like that <laughs> that you could borrow. And Gerwin, I mean, Gerwin has the... Plus the hair products in place as yes. well. Yes. Well, sure, you know, economic superpower of Germany, I'm sure he could find some hair products. I, I think it'd be harder to find a Gerwin the Iceman Price dark shirt. Certainly one that fits in. Oof. 140. Well, that's as good as a ton 80. We said there'd be some big scoring today, and there's more of it from Gerwin Price. Should have switched, surely. 41. Still should have switched. 142. Seventy-five away. Not quite sure what the crowd are getting excited about there. 84. The are 161. Well, two 164s yesterday afternoon. How about a 161? Why How not? about a 161, Robert Malarkey? Well, it would have been something that would have rattled Gerwin Price, I'm pretty sure. As it is, he's got two darts at tops here to get a leg on the board. He's looking now at double 10 instead. And Gerwin Price... Like we'll welcome that one. On. Breaking back. 2-1 he trails. Hadn't won a European Tour match prior to yesterday. Steve Lennon made his debut on the Euro circuit at the German Open in Saarbrücken this year. 131. Clinched his tour card at his first ever trip to Q School in January, beating Scott Derbyshire to secure that. Was he on the opening day of Q-School? Um, I asked that question Whoa. to Paul Nicholson. He thought it was day two or three. You know what? I'm going to tell you. I'm I thought it, you I thought right it, now. I thought it was day one, but um, Nico said it was two or three. It was three. Yeah. I mean, he should know. He was actually playing in it. So, but yes, yeah, I'll give him that. In fact, day three, it might well have been Steve Lennon making it through with the legendary John Part and Richie Burnett. Six. That day, yeah. I think, was it Burnett that and then beat Paul Nicholson? Well, Part beat Shepard and Shepard qualified yes. the day after, yeah. And likewise, Richie Burnett beat 89. Paul Nicholson and then Nicholson qualified the day after, even though he was safe. I believe that's right. Similar pathways, yeah, that rings the bell. That is exactly right. 100, going to 142. Now well. then, two trouble 17s. Well, he'll go for the bull again, will he? He will, and then back down for the 17s. Is exactly what he did in the previous leg. Leaves the 58, which he took out with relatively little bother. So to level things up, oh, just that first big number. Tops then, just one dart at it this time. But not too much pressure on it with Lennon on 183, and he takes it out at the first time of asking, and we are level once again. At two games apiece, or two legs apiece, I should say. Here, um, Derwin Price doesn't have fond memories of this place, by the way. He was beaten by Dragutin Horvat in the second round at this stage, a little over 12 months ago. Yeah, it was the first time we got to see Dragutin Horvat, wasn't it? I believe on the European tour when he had that run here in Risa, a series yeah. of mid 90s averages, looked very, very solid. 140. Oops, threatening to fire in another maximum, Steve Lennon. Still just the one for the Irishman so far. One of a number of Irishmen, or people from. 50. The Ireland. Island of Ireland, as the they say. Ireland, yes. The Emerald Isle. 
Daryl Gurney, one of the seeded players, seed number five. He'll be in action this evening against Dennis Nielsen, Iron Man from Sweden. That's a great shot, that is. Oh, you could just see how much room there was. And you can also, as well as seeing how much room there was, you can hear exactly what Gerwin Price thought of that as well. And it gets him down to a finish of 167. If he takes that out, well, I'm, I'm removing the headphones. I'm getting ready, actually, just in case. Prepare yourself. Hang on. All right, here we go. Steady on. Six perfect darts from Gerwin Price. World-class arrows from the Welsh number one. Game on. I've put my headphones back on now. Shake of the head from Steve Lennon. He simply cannot believe it. He was 2-0 up here. Gerwin Price, Gerwin Price has just turned this round on a sixpence. He really has. One six seven checkout, six perfect darts. Shame he couldn't maintain it into this uh, sixth leg, actually, but there you go. 12 dart leg there for Gerwin Price. 215s just prior to that as well. well. It's taken him a while to get going, but now that he has, he has he's quite literally roared back into this match. 83. There you see, the 96 average, but take those ropey first two legs out, and this is proper darts from Gerwin Price. He's a man... 96. Whom Phil Taylor has spoken of glowingly. The power really likes him and Corey Cadby. The power has his way. He'd have them both in the Premier League next year. Oh, and don't important. rule that out. I know mm. a, a few people have talked about Corey Cadby in the Premier League. And some people think it is it's absolutely anathema to them to suggest that Not a man who doesn't even have a tour card could even be considered right now. Well, I know for a fact that Corey Cadby was proposed for the Premier League this year, let alone next year. But Gerwin Price, 89. he is a guy, having made the UK Open final, the only thing that counts against Gerwin Price is that major TV final came so early in the year, mm. and people do have short memories. Yeah. But he Whoa. has suggested he's won a couple of games on the World Series. He has produced some decent stuff on the European Tour. This could still go, but it's not going to. He has given himself a real shot with no Taylor in the Premier League next year, a number of players who've been in and haven't really performed. I think Gerwin Price is in with a very, very solid shout. He's probably got to do something towards the back end of the year. Can Steve Lennon produce tops to level the match? He does. 15 data. Good response from the young Irishman. A very good response indeed. A 110 checkout just to uh, give it Gerwin Price one or two reminders here. But you're right, Gerwin Price has been rubbing shoulders with the elite. Semi finals in Dubai, semi finalist in Vegas as well. But as you say, maybe just could do with 40. giving one or two people a reminder towards the end of this year as well. Plenty of opportunities to do just that also. Well, he picked a couple of titles last year. Back to back, in fact, on the Pro Tour. But he's not managed to add to that haul this year. He has threatened, and, and on the European Tour earlier on this year, he looked, he looked in the sort of form 99. that suggested he was going to go and pick up a title somewhere. But yeah. it hasn't happened. He's just immensely watchable, you know. He, he's got the look. He's got his best game. Is competitive, and you know he's got an attitude on stage. He doesn't mind ruffling a few feathers. He loves giving it to the crowd sometimes as well. Oh we yeah, saw that in uh, Maastricht. Absolutely. And he can play pretty good darts as well. A ton 80 for Gerwin Price gets him in contention on the Lennon throw. Yeah, two quarter-final appearances on the Euro Tour, a semi-final as well. He even had a dart to knock out the eventual champion Peter Wright in Hildesheim in the semi-final there. Oh, go for the second time in this match. Oh, I thought it was going to be 180 and then three more perfect darts for a ton-plus checkout. But Gerwin Price... It really has been very, very strong stuff after those opening couple of legs. This is very, very impressive from the Welsh number one. Yeah, playing a man who's clearly feeling good about himself after yesterday. First match-up, never easy. Oh, that, come on, is the crowd. That's impressive as well. It's not his favourite area of the board. He'll leave tops and tens and twelves wherever possible, Gerwin Price. Double 16, double eight aren't his favourite. You could see by his reaction he didn't...
by that first start, but he's moved over to the left and gone over the top of it to perfection. Very, very watchable, this one. Brennan, though, needs to win three of the next four. Should we go that far, go in price. Might not be in the mood to give him the opportunity to take this one the distance. Lennon needs to find a break. Whenever this one faces either the defending champion or Willie O'Connor, who could have an all-Irish clash. The smart money right now would be on a Wales versus Austria one. Really depends how Mensor is, doesn't it? I mean, he's had a lot of media stuff to do and a lot of other commitments to Whoa. fulfill this week as well. And you just wonder, I mean, it could go one or two ways, I think. He could come in on the crest of a wave, float onto stage, breeze all before him, or he might just find himself a little bit, you know, jaded after what has been a, I mean, a very good week for him, but he's had a lot of other stuff to do. Well, it'll be interesting to see. I certainly know I spoke to some guys from Austria earlier in the week and they said it was all over the TV news and everything about Austria having a major darts champion and normally it doesn't even register in mainstream media in Austria. Mensor is changing things. You mean Rusty Jake's run in Vienna didn't make headlines? Well, apparently not. Apparently not. Staggered by that. Oh, this is very good. Very good. Gerwin Price has just wrestled control of this match away from his opponent. 167 after a 180, the standout piece of quality in this match. But overall, I mean, the average is now up to almost 99 for Gerwin Price and climbing. And climbing and climbing and climbing. 140. Steve Lennon, 2 0 up has lost five of the next six legs, and he's still averaging 93 himself. It's pretty solid from Steve Lennon. I think we're gonna see a lot more of this lad as well. A lot of time for Steve Lennon as a dart player. Yeah, I hope so. He's still, he's struggling to make the European Championship. He's only on five grand in the order of merit, and there's one tournament to go. So unless he can turn this around, and there's still time, but he has to win every single leg. He'd love another max. Oh. He'd love another max. The wrong side of the wire might well prove the difference, but he's down to 1-3-2, albeit on his throat. Gerwin Price looking to apply some pressure here, but the final dart just uh, scuppers him ever so slightly. 7-19 for ball. Oh, it looked quite inviting as well. Two trouble 20s for double eight. To seal the deal in style for the Welsh number one. Another massive checkout. <laughs> Double teapot from Gerwin Price. He fancied it. He did. He would have loved to have finished on a flourish like that. But Steve Lennon looking at the men's sword to take us into a template. As Lennon takes it out. 5-4. Gerwin Price inconvenienced ever so slightly by missing double eights. Please. This is the all-important leg for him, though, now. Fantastic game to start day two at the Brilliant. Happy Bay International Darts Open here. Setting the bar very, very high indeed, these two. Especially Price. They finished 6-4 last time they met. The only other time they met. Look at that. That first leg in 18 darts, but everything else in five visits to the board, Nine. apart from that four visit leg in leg five and that was where go in price produced that magical 180 followed by 167. that was the first time he got into the lead in price and he's managed to keep his nose in front and he's streaking off towards the finishing line 170 have some of that he is thriving today. He's just really enjoying himself and he's just playing with so much confidence and so much style as well. Just looks very comfortable all over the board today. Well, 65 away. I would think. Yeah, I thought he was going to stay there. I don't know why. <laughs> A little jog for going, Price. Lennon. 
simply has to fill this up and he has done well he's going down if he is going down he's going down with a fight going price though looking at tops for the match 37. the champagne is on ice Lennon now looking at Shanghai well it was a fantastic 180 followed by a ton plus checkout that put going price into the lead for the first time and a 180 followed by a 120 checkout for Steve Lennon here makes him favorite for this match Oh, and he can't find his way through. Oh, Agonizing. Agonizing. Yeah. Well, a more simple route here for Gerwin Price. Oh, I say that. Gerwin Price is making a bit of a meal of this, but double two is greeted with a huge, huge sigh of relief and a huge celebration as well. And Gerwin Price kickstarts day two of the International Darts Open in fine, fine style. An average of just over 100 as well to see off Steve Lennon, who gave Gerwin Price a really good run for his money. Two legs up. Price then turned things around in style. A 167 checkout was the highlight of all of that. And even though he stuttered late on, Gerwin Price advances to the third round of the international darts open on the way next ian white against the qualifier from the isle of white keegan brown i'm just i'm just thinking about every pitch and just trying too hard but uh, i go over the line and hopefully i'll perform better in the next round yeah. but uh, th th this 167 was okay no it wasn't bad was it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he missed he missed a good shot out of on and you know it takes shots like that to, to win games and you know that was probably a turning point for me Probably concentrated too much on the next leg, trying to get two legs in front. But you know, I go over the line, and that's the main point. I heard you had a beautiful trip to Germany. Uh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lost the luggage and all the stuff. Yeah. yeah, I missed the flight, lost my luggage. I was just waiting for the third one to lose <laughs> today, but thankfully I didn't. But no, the crowd's brilliant, and well done, thanks. Great. See you tomorrow again. Thank you, Gerwin. Gerwin Price. Hat gestern sein Flieger verpasst, hat gerade was Gepäck nicht mit.